Williams also is a great finisher. We saw that in his last fight. Look at the angles here. Keep putting the punches together. Good leverage. One thing I loved about that, BJ, was his balance. Yeah, tremendous balance. And one thing he does, he's got a great punch arsenal. Body shots, head shots, looping seven defeats. And across the ring with only one. Remember, guys, I'm 68. He moves up now to 170. Back here in Vegas. Very close and controversial fight. A lot of people thought that Campillo won the fight. And, uh, you know, Babu Shumov goes out there with something to prove in every single fight. Amateur pedigree. Yeah, sure. He represented uh, Kazakhstan in 2004 in the Olympics. He had a hand injury in the Olympics. Yeah, but, you know, lost him having hand injury. You know, early in this first round, he's come right out. He's not really waiting to get the ball rolling, is he, Dave? Now he's really unloading with these power shots and probably taking. Could do it once. Nice and calm, but you know he knows what to do when counted him with a nice short right hand. Big names in the 175-pound circuit, and he's one of the champions. Jean Patin might, uh, might make the record books again. In 12 fights, he's in very good company. A good right hand by Shumanov and nails Ornelas. Here comes Shumanov. And we saw some oh, very nice good there. uppercut here by Shumanov. And Ornelas, what is he doing against the ropes? He is taking a pounding. Nice right uppercut by Shumanov. You've got to do something if you're Ornelas. Joe Cortez looking in. You don't answer it there and had no air power from his right side. And uh, Ornelas blocked it. And, uh, you know, he definitely. Here we go. Babu Shumanov unloading right hands. He landed a good straight right hand. Ornelas brought his guard. Uh, Quite, you know, doing so. He's a little flustered, and he's just taking his time and trying to get a gauge on uh, and you know, make Shumanov pay. Tried to counter with the right hand over the top. And here comes advantage, cutting off the hesitancy in Ornelas. He does. Uh, you know, Shumanov has always been a hard worker. He's always been really good work there. You got uh, Ornelas' attention. Nice right uppercut by Ornelas, but you know, he's always been a very hard worker. You know, he wanted to spar 10 and 12 rounds when he didn't even have a second or third profile. There's a flood coming from the suited, the head butt, and with the accidental butt, should that cause the fight to end inside of four rounds, technical draw to be stopped after is the winner, and they do score the round, David stops halfway in the middle of the fifth round, they score that round too. All right, another good round for Shuman. Casino in Las Vegas. On Dave Fontempo along with BJ Flores. Off again. Good right hand. To the so difficult, Dave, because he's a very active fighter. He goes up and down. He works well to the body and the head. Cruiserweight weight contender, and that's up about 25 pounds on on this division. 82 pounds to 68 or. But you know, Shumanov has got a lot of good opponents right in front of Scal. He's got Dawson. He's got Tavoris Cloud, the winner of the lucrative matchup for him. And he's always said he wants to unify the title, so that's going to be a great opportunity for him to do that. Maybe the idea that the guys really don't have anywhere to go should strength try to focus. I think on division, so. Good jab. Well, he's trying to dig in from the corner, but he's being muscled here by the bigger man. Yes. Controlling the hard guys. Are, you have to take a look at them and say, well, one guy's punching above his natural weight class. You might think Ornell, yet it's the other way around. And it's shooting off every single time. And set up other power punches. We've been saying that all night, Dave. All right, final seconds of round three. And Shumanov continues to apply the pressure. And to get in, you know, initiate and be physical with one another. That's exactly what Baby Shumanov and Ornelas both tried to do. They both tried to be rough, use the forearms to let him know, hey, this isn't somewhere you want to come. It's not going to be easy in here. Shumanov doing a nice job cutting off the angles and then jumping right on top of Ornelas. Beautiful. Him do more than guys like Bernard Hagat. What he's getting here. We've seen him. In a decent fight with Bernard. Again, Shumanov is a much more physical ad, but Shumanov is very physical.
a lot of trouble that way? Do you think he here? Yeah, he is. He's not really taking a lot of those punches too quick. He's not trying to fight. And right now, doing excellent work. Shots. He's being very by Shumanov and being active all the time. Working the body here. Yeah, I love the pace of the fight that he is setting. So, uh, so much for the concept of ring rust. I was about to ask you about that. Uh, yeah, right there. Off the ring. He's is never able to touch Shumanov, and that's part of, uh, you know, Shumanov. There's Ornella. He's toying with him. Coming at him. He's able to stave it off and then move. Back up. Ornella offensive. And his corner might use. Go tell him, Casino is Bebu Shumanov. WBA prohibitive favorite, and he's fighting like it. He absolutely is. He's got a lot of confidence, Dave. He's landing punches, and his corner gave him some really good instruction after the last round. Don't get bored of hitting him. Don't get repetitive. Um, you know, very good instructions by Dewey Cooper, and, uh, you know, Babu just having his way. I didn't win the first seven, eight, nine rounds. Minding Babu. Listen. And he told me, your assessment, you both. Sometimes you got to. Talked about the fact he the gym. He has come out and set a blazing pace here. Controlling uh, the tempo and the momentum of the thing you have to like about Schumann. He's not fighting down to the level. One thing I love about just step in and land and miss that punch. Whether it right hand lead against the textbook, so you have to be fast enough to get away with that. But watch, he slides right in. That's just Look good footwork with him sliding into position five. Winds its way down and he misses. Bebu Shumanov is putting on an excellent show in defense of his championship. All right, is that it? We shall see. Ornelas is win. He hasn't even remotely done enough. He's in total control right now. Shumanov away from... You know, this, this is very interesting. He's dominated, you know, his last three opponents, William Joppy, Danny Santiago, and now he's dominating, you know, Enrique Ornelas. It's a good way to in America that... Uh, Chad Dawson, who we talked about before, guys like Ryan might give him a good test. It's a powerful lefty and good contenders in America, names in America that, uh, you know, I think own it, but or a absolutely. No, he's impressive tonight. He's a 168 pound guy coming up. So, come up on and Shumanov continues to set the way against Ornelas. I've got it as a shutout, six rounds to zero so far. And now it's showing nothing that he's going to do to uh, you know, make a change and make an adjustment. More here, of the same, round after round. Here comes Shumanov now, putting on the pressure. As a quick feet, the quick hands. And I think a punch that I would like to see Shumanov add him being is because Ornelas, the right uppercut has gotten through a couple with Ornelas' stance. He can really make some uh, waves with that. So many right hand leads like he shot. To There's some good speed. Nicely. So slower than you and a tailor made like we're talking about. I think we'll probably see him in a, a stiffer test. Champion he wants to test himself against the best guy that does not want to and will not allow himself to set and get the notch in the guys you're fighting with the intensity of it. You're only as good as your last fight. Therefore, if he wants to have strong negotiations with the champion for his next fight, he knows he's got to be impressive tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that's another way of getting some of those guys. All right, so in round seven, it's more of package on display against Donello. WBA light heavyweight. He gets blocked by Ornelas. And BJ, the interesting thing, he, he tries the right hand lead. He's he does, the thing he does, Dave, he slides and he moves his left foot and his right foot simultaneously to get into range like he's doing right now. So he just perfected. Dancing too. Yeah, it's a little bit. <laughs> Dewey Coop works well for him and he's very effective with him. Nice punch. Afghanistan area and Russia is. And Shumanov looks like he might be a good dancer. He's up and down. European style straight up. He works the body well. Very good shape. Nice right hand. The effect of toying with your opponent because everything he does, you're out in front of by that. You realize all the options that's moving right, whether it's slipping, throwing the right hand, lead after the shuffle, just tries to throw. Absolutely. And O'Neill has success is lunging for Five guys like Chad Dawson, Devorce, Klaus. Uh, where do you see it? Could he be?
dude. Say uh, Frotch coming. Not sure what he walks around. Let's definitely talk about this next round. I got a lot to say about this. Okay, we'll get to it. Coming to a close, and more Schumann on top. And uh, we talked. Excellent cruiserweight yourself, and having trained with Shumanov, blueprint for where you'd like to see this. If I couldn't get one of the champions in the unification fight, contenders, and then free up a little more time, because I don't believe Shumanov's done that for quite some time. Tournament, it will slowly supposed to say a catch weight in between, and that's where that fight would get made. So a full light heavyweight, you can't always have your cake and eat it too. All right, but of course everybody tries, so. <laughs> really putting on show as well. Sometimes a guy can uppercut just to throw him completely off right now. He doesn't have that lazy round. You don't see him taking any time off. Yeah, he doesn't need to. This guy's in great shape. Good right hand by Ornelas. Probably one of his best punches of the fight. And it draws return fire from Shumanov. That high guard, every time Shumanov punches that high guard, doesn't really move his head, blocks the punches with the goalie, would be so crucial in this uh, this point of the fight. The left uppercut right there to pick his head back up to be able to land more offense. And a punitive body shot right off of those two shots. Nine, Shumanov incomplete. And right here, both guys' feet got tangled up a little bit. Shumanov was leaning back. And uh, Ornella being punched, so right ruling in uh, As we start round 10. Light heavyweight champion. People come to Las Vegas and they stay. Campillo, who recently had a very proved his medal in that fight. Doppy, Danny Santiago, now Ornalis. Oh, you know, big money. This one, they're coming off of a 11 month layoff. A punch we were just talking. They own uh, quite a few very well, and uh, I don't think uh, so much and so regular as money. He's got to be able to fight the other champions to do that. That's a slip. Four tier guys. He's at a point where he wants to go. With Ornelas coming at him. There's the jab by Shumanov. It's beautiful to see Shumanov just to his left. Still out of the punch. He simply slides back in and uh, makes great contact. He's fighting as if he is under a command to win every round. Boo Shumanov. Not following behind his jab and simply lost balance when Shumanov rolled out of the corner. And we've seen a lot of things from Shumanov tonight as he can get there. He goes in against the guy and does not really fear it. And we see him shift to the room between rounds as trainer. You know, urgency in the champion. Ornelas is durable in with the ropes. And what Ornelas does is he loses, regrouped, and came in. Off. Talked about him being given away. Not only is he in better shape, but, you know, amateur programs that really teach their guys how to plead with the fighters. You are, whenever you catch Baby, you can get caught with another punch. Um, sometimes two guys that put, you know, giving him too many problems. So he made the adjustment of jumping on a guy after he gets hit into being more refined, which is something they can't. Yeah, I think his point is something dumb. Setting a nice pace. So Babu closing in on another good round of boxing against Ornell. Here we have Shumanov once again behind the double jab, effectively landing the right hand, bringing the overhand right. Light heavyweight champ, a lopsided event. Put his head down, tried to push it off, and uh, see Ornelas try to time the right hand over Baby's jab. A nice jab coming in. And did a couple good punches this round. Here comes Shumanov trying to close, not to shake that, but uh, you know, he gets hit with a punch, he immediately wants to come back. Really a bad thing. 68 to Hopkins. Is he at a point? Championship level, he's definitely not there. Don't see him beating any of those top. Maybe if he went back, you know, he could be more of a, a lower level guy to test guys that are up and coming. Here comes Shumanov. Good right. Do you like to see from your fighter? The offense. Left took by Ornelas. Partner mentality or nine on the same night, Roy. To fight after that, but Roy, so you set up doesn't always work that. But Ornelas, is good right hand here by Shumanov. Shumanov more the same. Good right hand, nice right hand. He's got Ornelas in a little bit of trouble here. It's not going to be enough to finish him off before the end of the bell. Teeing off. It's the best of everything, and as they shake.
Here we see some of the highlights from round 12. Shumanov shooting that loopy right hand and coming with the straight right hand, bringing the right uppercut, catches Ornelas against the ropes. He's got him in a lot of trouble here. And, uh, you know, assessment of